Hey, this is Rob from My Wire Shop. Today we got one of our, our uh, basic wiring harnesses for a Beams uh, 3SGE that's being shipped out to a customer today. Just wanted to show you a little instructional video of how to install it. Um, this is the harness right here. Um, these harnesses are designed for left or right hand drive. Very simple installation. Um, first we're going to start with the injectors, if it doesn't get all tangled. Okay. Injector number four, three, two, one. Next we'll do the coils. Coil four. Coil four. Three. Two. One, get that routed right into the valley here. Next is going to be some of our sensors. Which also goes into this valley in here so when the cover goes on it's concealed. So you have the VVTi uh, oil control solenoid right here. This was just mocked up here. This is not the actual one. Intake air temp sensor. Um, you have the TPS sensor, which I put in extra length there, depending on if you run the ITBs like this engine have, has or you have the actual throttle body. Alternator plug, uh, knock sensor plug, and also the start trigger for the starter. This is bare just in case if there's two ways you can go at you have a spade connector or you have a, another connector, the new, newer style connector, which I included when I shipped it. So that gets all plugged in there. Knock sensor. This all goes down into the valley like that. This gets down in here, gets concealed. So it's easy to put the cover on. Next is some more sensors. It actually goes underneath. This goes in the valley as well. Goes around. You have the crank sensor. You have the coolant temp sensor. You have the VVTi oil control solenoid, and also you have the oil pressure goes down there. Only a couple things left. Um, you have your reference sensors for the VVTi, one for left, one for right. One is actually your, your um, cam sensor. The VVTi will reference off that side, off the cam sensor. That plugs in. The other one is a reference for the VVTi, which goes in there. You have two grounds in the back of the head. They go in the back of the head, power grounds for the ECU. Um, and also you have the coil grounds, which goes to this small ground 
right there in the back of the head. Now these can go on this particular vehicle is going to go on a left hand drive. This is the actual cover on a beams. This goes, it's not really going down on this one because of the oil control. There, there it goes. But as you can see, it's pretty well concealed. Um, fits rather well. You're really not going to see much from the front. But um, they come with documentation, everything labeled. Um, that comes in a PDF file. Um, you only have a few plugs to plug in. The ECU connector itself, you'll have a dash plug, which will have oil pressure, coolant temp, uh, analog, um, and a tachometer. You'll have a power plug, which will have all your powers for your ejectors and the ECU and the coils. And then you'll have a can plug, which is wired for the um, expansion cable through Link ECU to run um, any of their products. And then you have an auxiliary uh, plug, which will have fan control, fuel pump control, and also another uh, AN volt for your, your Lambda control to put an external um, wide band on there. But that's pretty much it.